Hi, welcome back. Today I want to discuss with you one thing that uh, I have mentioned that I was going to share with you from early on and take you down a slightly different path than we've been going so far. One of the reasons that I told you that I began uh, starting this series with you is because I wanted to see if we could help you by answering the most commonly asked business questions that we receive and help you grow your businesses faster by learning from what we have done that has been really positive and what we've done by making some mistakes uh, so that you can avoid those hopefully. Today what I'd actually like to talk to you about is one of the most, probably one of the most common mistakes that I was reminded about again this week and during this holiday season. So today seemed like the appropriate time to share our mistake to help you avoid it. Every business coach, every networking opportunity, all along the way, what Dr. Cobb and I have constantly been reminded of is that you need to take time to for yourself. You need to take time within your business and within your daily life to, to set up yourself for success. And that means taking time for you. So no matter who your coach is, we've heard it described in various ways. We've heard it as free and focused days, personal recharge time, yoga time, daily gratitude, personal study, self-growth and reflection, morning resets, morning gratitude journals. We've heard it described in so many different ways and this has been one of the most challenging lessons for us to learn. How do you protect your energy first for yourself and for your family so that you can then bring that energy that you've got to your business for its growth and potential. Um, it doesn't really matter what you what you call it, but again this week I was reminded by, by one of my business coaches that morning time or afternoon time, whenever it is, every single day there needs to be a time for you. Whether it's reset or exercise or training or reading or journaling, whatever it is, protect your time. Every Everyone in business, and this is why it was a mistake for us, and hopefully you guys will be able to avoid it, is when you're trying to grow, one of the things that you're threatened by is, I need to take every phone call, I need to answer every email, I need to get back to those people because I care about the questions that they're asking, how can I take care of them so that they want to work with me because I have such an amazing thing to offer them. And so there's that fear of, I need the growth, and I have to take care of everyone, and we forget to take care of ourselves. My point to you today, especially during this holiday season, is that if you don't find one of the fastest ways to, to run out of steam for you, or to burn out your team, or your friends and family, etc., is to not find time to recharge for yourself. So especially during the holiday season, it's even more compiled with there's growth, there's opportunity, there's a new year coming, and it's the end of year, and it's family, and it's holidays, and, 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 and. And one of the first things to go is our time for ourselves. So this week, what I want to share with you is, in growing your business, one of the primary things that you can do for you that has been one of our biggest mistakes, that we're still working on learning this today, don't sacrifice your time. Find a little bit of time every day in your window. Whatever it is that helps you recharge. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't care what it is. But what brings you energy so that you then have that energy to multiply out to the people around you. That's my coaching idea for this week for you. And I hope you can learn from the growth that we've experienced and the mistakes that we've made without having to hit your head yourself and just go forward with it. Good luck. If you have any questions, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot and happy holidays.